that's sort of what I was gonna sort of with event and stuff like that. I was just curious. Um, I stumbled upon it because I came early for an appointment <laughs> and decided I was like being from Carthage the square and like know the boutiques and stuff and sort of stumbled in. Um, and I'm just curious sort of from where you've gone when you first opened to now, I, I know because I hear people talk about being at your store before, but sort of how are you getting customers? Like you say, I don't have a website and I don't have business cards and I don't have this, but clearly, I, and I'm assuming that it's word of mouth, but you know, have, you know do you do little like pop up tasting sort of things or is it literally, do you do advertising or is it just word of mouth to get people in the door? So word of mouth has been, I mean, probably it's happened more than I had expected and I didn't know that I could rely on it because I didn't know that people would talk about things so much. So that part has been really fun and you've been one of them. Thank you for, thank you for doing that. Um, so I didn't know to rely on that one. So um, early on, a few months before I opened, I started an email list and have been, I feel like pretty organically collecting the email addresses. Um, Josh in here mentioned that he's been on the list since before I opened, which was really fun because I have no idea how you found that one. That's clear. Um, how you found that. But I feel like that's like fairly, fairly organic. But that list has really grown and it's so important to me because Facebook is not ours in any way. And so many of us have experienced various problems there. Um, on Facebook, we are the product. So I don't I don't love that. Um, I do use it, of course, it's a great good way to throw out pictures and recipes and whatever, but if people see them, that's just lucky. Um, the people who are on that email list have expressed an interest and have said they want, you know, they want information from me. So that's who, I try not to bombard them in any way and um, <coughs> don't send out tons of stuff at all. So when they do get something, I feel like they, well, the open rate shows that they, that they open it at more than a 50% open rate right now, um, which is, I think, higher than average by, by a fair bit. Um, also, it means I need to grow my list more because it means really, really warm audience. And so there's a lot of space I need to grow that email list. Um, but that's been the prime, I feel like that was my primary way, but I do have advertising in um, Joplin Magazine and in um, the weekly crossword puzzle insert. I'm right next to the crossword puzzle and I picked that spot because I thought people spend time on the crossword puzzle and the same people go back to that every week and they, I want the same people to see this over and over so that this is on their mind. And the number of you who have said to me before, oh, I haven't been in yet. And like, you guys feel guilty about that. I'm super relieved when people tell me that because my secret fear in December was, well, everybody's been through the doors and they're gonna use this for a while. It's gonna take them a while to run out. Nobody's gonna come to you. <laughs> and I, that has not been the case at all. So um, I'm excited that there's still so many people who haven't made it in yet. Don't feel guilty at all. Just so I'm, I'm relieved to know that it's still on your radar. You're going to come in later. Um, did I answer that? So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just want to say very engaging. And I think that that, that you as a person have the, the, the draw that is something that is part of the, part of the product. And so that um, opportunity to, to build those relationships and people to get to know you and your passion for it, that's contagious. So um, social media does give you the opportunity with video and I and um, I highly recommend like the reels and TikTok to build those because you will build a following of people that even if, it, if it's six months before they actually walk in your door, when they do, they feel like they know, they know more about your product and what you're offering. Um, and I know that's time consuming. My daughter and I have a boutique and we have, that is, but we're seeing the benefit of that time that our staff is spending building those those TikToks or those reels, just keeping in front of people that, that video content's been really key for that. Thank you. Maybe on our last question. Oh, I'm special. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about partnerships with other businesses, restaurants, and wholesale? Is that anything that you've looked at doing? I know for us at our restaurant, we do a lot of cross promotion with people that have businesses like yours and try to use your products within our business. So is that something that you're also trying to do? I have not spent much energy on that at all. That's what I'll say. It's another one of the, the things that I think could be a good could be a good opportunity. Yeah. 
my stomach is a little bit pricey and that part is a struggle because in the restaurant world you have such tight margins already and so yeah, don't tell me it's yeah <laughs> <laughs> so I, I feel always presumptuous to invite you to do something that like somebody's taking a hit it's, it's one of those I don't, I don't like that like I feel like you've got access to to things for the restaurant world that, that scale up into you know to using you know, in such a bulk quantity a little bit better and so that's been a little bit of a struggle as well in my mind and how can I wrap myself around that idea to offer that as an option but you're right that exploring that a little bit more would be a smart yeah would be a smart direction just right, real so quick what time do you open the day so I can have some of that blood orange oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 <laughs>